for me every opponent I see him like he tried to stop me from reaching my my dreams you know I heard before that Rylan uh, says that I am a ticket seller me I'm not like Rylan I don't like to fix my hair put uh, piercings on or or my noses I give I give I have gave many many fights in my life I have 110 fights I didn't win my fans like uh, making my hair I give my heart to the sport and that is why I have so many fans and I sell so many tickets this this didn't come from one day to another you know maybe Rylan on or some people think that this came in one day to another but Saturday is near and I'm gonna show him why I am here with my fans and everything. You're smiling, he amuses you or do you yeah, just want to knock him out? No, no that's just not my style. He seems to be another one that's good at talking and I'm good at beating people up. So uh, Let's see, I do that's both why I don't good. do the talking. I do, I do both good. The only thing I don't do is to fix hair, you know, I'm not gonna show you what I do best right. in Saturday, don't worry. Saturday night when we're in that ring, don't get any talking. I'll do more talking with ease, simple as that. Let's see. What, Let's about, see. what about some of the stuff he said to you? Or do you just sort of let that go over I you? let it go from my head. Do you? Yeah, it's just boring, So isn't it's it? not working? It, Florida, I it's don't not, care. She, listen, I don't care if it's working or it's not working. I'm gonna do the same thing. She like it or not, I'm gonna beat him up at Saturday, you know? Maybe she doesn't like what I say, but I'm like this, you know? I'm a confident fighter, I give my heart to, to the ring. If she, the only, the only way that she can win me is, is to knock me out unconscious because I will not let the fight go to the points anymore with this injustice that they did to me. If I see and I hear, she can stop me. That is a fact. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got to have a dig. It's all he's got. He can't fight, so... He can't fight? Nah. You don't think he can fight? Nah. Not at all. Right. But he's built a record. He's got a wonderful career as well in, in mixed martial arts and kickboxing. You don't think he can fight at all? That's a big statement, right? I can fight MMA, in cage, wherever you want, in the ring, outside the ring. I can fight wherever you want. You are crazy. How I cannot fight? I will fight Saturday. Don't worry about it. You will see how I fight. All right. We'll see. Yeah. What do you think he does well? Talk. He talks well, he calls over and out, and no respect for anyone, and I'm going to teach him some respect on Saturday night. Simple as that. Let's see what you will do. Mm -hmm. No, I'll listen. Make about if it. you lose Florian, will he make excuses? Or will he respect him? I don't think I will never lose mm -hmm. to this guy. But I'm not the type of uh, man to make excuses. If he is better than me, I will shake his hand, I will say congratulations. But this cannot happen, you know, it's unbelievable these things will happen. What does he do well? <coughs> Talk. No, in the ring. I He's unbeaten. He does after well. I beat you, what you will say? I'm sorry. What you will say after I beat you? I want you to make with it. Okay. Don't think that. After I beat you with all these things, because at the end of the day I'm a, a kickboxer for you, you know, I'm really underrated, I am overrated, I'm a hype job and I was a kickboxer, MMA fighter, I'm not a boxer. After I beat you, what are you gonna say? You're not gonna beat me, so okay. Think okay, this interview, a lot of people will hear it after. Let's see, what, when you hear it. Uh, I'm gonna beat you up and take you some respect. Let's see, let's see. With this hair, you can never beat me. You believe that and hear it good. I'm gonna to talk to you, I'm gonna beat you, and I'm gonna to talk to you inside the ring. Remember this word. Don't shake. I see your lips. She's shaking. You see how you're shaking? You will shake more inside the ring with me. I'm willing to die to win. You have never met someone like me, and you will see. The reaction he's getting. I'm certainly happy to chat away. I do like, and I said this earlier, guys, I do like, oh, that was a lovely combination from Marco. Oh, funneled up with a very heavy left hand as well. Good little spell from Florian Marco, this. As you can see, stepping in and out. Nice around. work downstairs from Marku. That left, done a lot of good work with that left hand. Tonight, Florian Marku, good body shot there. But again, Charlton continues just to push forward here. Charlton's throwing a lot, but the, the thing about Marku is big as Oh, lovely, big right hand. As the legs went. Yeah. 
A big, big dip there, and finally he does make a dent on Charlton, and Charlton's got to just try and survive the last few seconds of this one, which he does, but he was all over the place there. That combination finished by that big right hand, and that's the breakthrough that we've been waiting for in this fight, and it's gone to Florian Marku. Well, you ask how did he stand up? I don't think he has any idea how he stood up. Instincts kicked in. Oh, oh, what a shot like that. Chant takes another beauty. He really is. Dishing out the flash here, Florian Marku. Really enjoying himself. Just uh, threatening the right hand there. Just want to see if uh, Chant did just say step back, draw his man on, see if he can counter punch him. But, uh, not a slip of that. Oh, we got through there. Well, there's a sudden turnaround. Lovely, great work from Marku, and he's getting through again. Charles has got a chin on him, but he doesn't want to be taking too much more of that. That was. You have to respect the work rate of these two, given that they've not done this distance before. It's been high paced, high energy stuff, but, and they're, they're maintaining that output. And uh, we're deep into round eight. Here. So there was a left up to the body from Marku a few moments ago that certainly uh, seemed to catch Charles. And I'm not sure Marku uh, was aware of it as he had to follow it up. Any body work. I mean, Chart for a second there wasn't even looking where he was throwing, he was yeah. just throwing, and, and I think he has hit him. Chart's in trouble, yeah. Chart's in trouble. Yeah, he's been stopped. Yeah, well, that was an eventful one, wasn't it? That was it there, the left hook just sunk just sunk him to his knees, and you can see the way he's holding his elbows that he's hurt at that point. He tries to come back, I think, just as a bit of kidology to say I'm OK, but you can see him wilting, he's dropping there at the, at the waist, really, really badly hurt. And also at that point, I noticed how bad the swelling was on his face, the mouse is under both eyes, the cuts, the blood. He was so, so swollen and clearly in a lot of pain. And then that shot lands, the right hand, the left hook, and I think that was a spot-on throw-in of the towel from, from his corner man, Frank Sixtornis there.